In today's video, we will be decorating our front porch for Halloween, our shed porch for fall, and our back patio for fall too. If you'd like to see all these things, then keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am going to be decorating the front porch and our back porch, which is kind of like our patio area, all for fall time. So I have decided though, that I am going to do Halloween on the front porch and then the back patio is going to be full fall vibe. So I am keeping it separate in that way. And I'm really excited because it'll be my first time decorating my porch for Halloween. So we're going to tackle that first. I'm going to go outside and show y'all everything I have. Okay, y'all. So this is everything that I have. I have two different signs to choose from. This is the one I used last year. And this is like the Halloween one. I love the size of this one. But I'm not sure which one we'll pick. We'll play around with it. I have loads of pumpkins. Doormats. This is the one that we had up there. Um, I just took it off. And then these are the two like Halloween doormats I have and a pillow to go up there. Lanterns, mums, and these are like the showstoppers. I really wish I would have gotten two of these really cute like ceramic, I don't even know, ceramic figurines that you can put a candle in because there's a hole through the back. So yeah, I really wish I would have gotten two of these little ghosties. I'm obsessed with them, but I didn't at the time I got this one, which is also really cute. So we're gonna be using all of these things to decorate this area. So if you're new here on my channel, this is my front porch and like the exterior portion of my home. I basically painted the entire house with the help of my family and friends about a year and a half ago. Originally, my home was a very like peachy brick color, but I wanted to paint it white, so that's exactly what I did. We added window boxes on the front. We added like all of these bushes that you guys see here, and also this walkway as well. And more so recently on the exterior, I redid the tile insert that was here and added this really pretty like tile which i'm really excited about because now i get to decorate with it so i'm gonna start off by just sweeping off the front porch and getting it nice and clean and then we will play around with everything but first i had to take a minute to drink my ag1 AG1 is a nutritional drink that sets the foundation for a healthier lifestyle. It's your daily multivitamin, prebiotic, and postbiotic all in one that helps support your immunity. It contains dairy-free probiotics that protect your gut, plus naturally incurring enzymes that jumpstart the digestive process. I've been taking AG1 for just a short while, but I already see a difference in my energy levels. It doesn't taste like sunshine and rainbows, but it's really not that bad when you consider all the positive benefits. I just love that it gives me that extra push I need to keep going and tackle all these projects around the house. Click my link to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video and you guys please be sure to click on that link in the description box down below. Now that that's done, I think I want to play around with like the signs in the doormat. So these are our two options. Already I'm kind of feeling like because I'm going full fall in the backyard, I should save this one for the backyard and put this one up right now. So let's see. This sign also lights up, you guys. I'll show y'all at night, it's way too bright. And it has a kickstand on the back. I'll have everything linked down below if y'all want something. So this doormat right here, y'all, is from Joann's. So this is what this one looks like. 
trick or treat. Or I could do the next one. Hey, boo. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave this one here for now. The Hey Boo. Okay, you guys, so this is the design that I've come up with so far. I feel like it looks pretty good. Let me give y'all way back up a little bit more. I feel like it looks cute. Right? Like, it's giving. But I do think we need to make a few little tweaks to it. So, like, the hat on my jack o' lantern back there, I feel like that hat needs to be white to balance the ghost. Also, it's kind of hidden right now. So I think what I'll do is I'll put something underneath it so the jack-o'-lantern can be kind of raised up. And then over here on this side, I love the way this looks. Let's put up the wreath and then close the door and see what it looks like. So I showed you guys these earlier and I want to do a fun DIY with them. I got them for around a dollar at Walmart. What I think I want to do with this is actually find a branch somewhere out here in my yard and put the branch inside of here and have some creepy leaves like coming out of it. I feel like that'll look super duper cute. Okay y'all, so I want to use these real branches um and attach some leaves to it spray paint it all black so it has like a cute look maybe string some lights on it okay y'all this is the next one this one has some cool this one actually looks cool i'm not mad at this one okay y'all so this is the design that we think we're going to follow through on we have this branch over here and this one over here and together they will make a cool little display. So now I'm gonna spray paint these black and Marcus was saying that we should just use like a steel, a rhubarb. A piece of rhubarb? Yeah, we should use that to attach it to this instead of me putting them inside of like the little jack-o'-lantern planters that I was gonna make. So now with these, I think I'm gonna put the mums inside of here. Okay, you guys, so these are how the little spray painted pumpkins turned out. I feel like they look okay, but if you look up close, they are not pretty. Because like you can still see the yellow, I mean the oranges outline around the black, to me it's giving bloody. Like, really creepy jack-o'-lantern and that is not the vibe over here. y'all so I'm like out here late at night we just got back from Home Depot and I want to spray paint these it's really dark so I might just show y'all what it looks like in the morning so here goes something let's be honest for a second yeah you'll be in over your head babe cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel
Okay, you guys, so it is the next day and we are going to work out here on the back porch patio area. I have on this big old coat because it is freezing here in Georgia today, you guys. It is absolutely insane. Feels good that I'm standing right here in the sun, but in the shady parts, it is cold. It's so cold. But I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this area. And of course, we gotta start off by me showing you guys everything that I have to play around with over here. So let's start with that. All right, y'all. So this is everything that I have to kind of like play around with out here for the back patio and for the shed porch because I decided that I want to decorate that one too. So we have some pillows to replace these like ones that I put when we first hit the makeover. Um, I have some different reef options. We'll see which one looks best here. This is the one I used on the front porch last year. It's literally so gorgeous. I have these cute little corn thingies and I have corn stalks right there y'all but those are gonna go in the shed for sure I have these little pumpkins metal pumpkins um, some more wreath options doormat options and then we have some different rug options a black and white or a rust and white some signs dartboard <laughs> another sign mums and I have and inside it's been like so cold lately but that's why this is here but i have another thing of mom's to go out here and also loads and loads of pumpkins before i begin like putting things out now i am going to just clean off this area and get rid of the things that i won't be using so So now that the area is a little bit cleaner, let's go ahead and start decorating the door area. Two of these in each chair, and then two of these in the other chair. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point. I have these little pumpkins to decorate the tables with. These are also from Joann's and they are so cute. Now, I feel like we have to build around this to really make it stand out because right now these are blending in so much with everything around it. So let's see what we can do. That you're tough. Order in a cup of love. Feel it rising up and above. You will always... So now we're going to work on these shelves and get them in the fall vibe as well. Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past. Pretty little thing. All right, y'all. So now we are down here by the shed. And I got these corn stalks from Home Depot. So because there's like two posts on the shed, 
We're gonna put some corn stalks on either side and then decorate the porch, add the chair, add the sign, add a doormat, all that good stuff. So let's get started. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart. Y'all, this is already looking so cute. <laughs> A lot of you guys are saying that this is not a shed. It is a cottage and I agree. It could literally be a tiny house. It's so cute. So now I'm going to add the doormat that says, hey there, pumpkin. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me life. All right, y'all. So now I'm going to take some time and just open up these corn stalks a little bit. Never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. I've won, got it done. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I won't let the door hit when I leave. Shouldn't know by your action. All right, y'all, here is the Chaya. Going to smile, but I would never ever ever. Now we're back on the front porch, just finishing up this area. Um, we spray painted the branches and the footage that you guys already saw, and now we're about to attach them <laughs> to the little sticks that Marcus put. I think I got footage of that too, so let's get it. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. We have the creepy branches in place. I'm gonna add solar lights to them so that they twinkle in the night. And in a week or two, I won't remember who you are. Man down, he ran out of luck, and now it's my time. Ain't no looking back, I'm on the right track. Here she goes. So we get in the lights on there and they look super duper cute. So now I have some more little things I want to add out here. Like spider web on the railing. And then I have a whole bunch of leftover bats that I'm gonna put on the front door. Lucky, 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 I won't let the door hit when I leave. So now I have this big old, or we have this big old, big old pumpkin that I've had for a few years. Bought it for like my second year of teaching. And so now it lives here at this house. It is huge. We put it up last year and it kind of got really dirty because we didn't like properly take care of it. So I may have to like hose it off once it inflates.
thank you guys so much for watching today's video i know it was short and sweet but i hope you guys really enjoyed it and i will catch you in the next one on wednesday bye guys